Yo, Mina. Lava, what are you Same, saying? Bro? Man. Yeah. How you been? Let me see what you're wearing. Jeez. Why are you wearing with McQueen? Sam, I told you who our guest is. You don't need more height, fam. She's a model. She's like six feet, fam. Six? I told you this. Yeah, come here, bro, man. What's up, everyone? This is Mina. It's Mello. We're here at Northern Touch Vintage. And we're here with Penny Alexia today. Who's styled it the best? Baby, come with me, let's get your vibe. I got a bottle of honey in a car waiting just outside. I didn't get lost on those eyes. I fell in love with the way that you bought for me. Well, that's for free, but she'll. So, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, it's an honor to have you here. First things first. What oh. are you wearing today? <laughs> yeah, tell us what you're wearing today. What's your fit? Um, Honestly, pretty boring. I feel like I threw this on really last minute. Um, it's not boring. This was the only not boring thing, my little Balenciaga. I got this from Holt Renfrew, oh, you did, which eh? you guys Show it to Holt Renfrew. obviously. And then I have like a little Aritzia bodysuit. No one's going to see that. Aritzia pants. I was kind of over the leather moment, but today I had to. <laughs> and then I have these like New Balance 550s that. Um, my dog actually ate, Ooh. so... Shout out to the dog. Big Penny's dog, come on the show. Cool dog, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Melo? What are you wearing today? Um, yeah, my first nothing crazy today, oh. either. Nothing <laughs> else. Started off with the McQueen shoes, and then I went to vintage Ralph Lauren denim. Uh, OVO babe to you. That's a new collab. New collab. Says <laughs> this came out two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, I'm shouting out Mina with this one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the St. Laurent teddy jacket. Jeez, what, what do you got on? Uh, I just have turbo green ones, some cargos. Where are they from? Just cargos? Yeah. I don't even know. I don't remember. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> and then <laughs> an Amiri crew neck. Yeah. And a Burberry vest. Amiri and... crew neck, shuttle flag. Oh. Yeah, you don't have to talk about the watch. <laughs> yeah. Don't lie. I'm talking about the watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to start. How does it feel to be the most decorated Olympian in Canada? Um. I mean, Talk I feel about like your journey too, yeah. you know about this better, but I find it so weird. Like, I feel like I'm always just kind of like living my life normally and then people bring that up. And I just think it's so odd that I'm the most decorated Olympian in Canada. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, I like didn't even really care to go to the Olympics. So when I went and like won a bunch of medals, it was just odd and like very inspiring for me to like continue and everything. For sure. Can you talk a little bit about your journey? Like how, like how did you, first of all, how'd you get into swimming even? It was random. Was like I, I just like always did sports growing up. And yeah. then um, I wanted to like, I did like point ballet, which is weird. Like the national ballet moment, but um, I didn't then, know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That, was, that one's very low key. That's kind of like swept under the rug. But mm. then I just quit that. And then I wanted to like take up something. So right. swimming, I just you decided. Took that far. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. I mean, I haven't won any Olympic medals yet. You not, yet not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Get him on the Canadian basketball team. Get my men medal yeah, there. Right. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> come on. Baby, come with me. Let's get your So we saw you. You were at Holt Renfrew, like, I think last year. Yeah. And it wasn't with us. I know. Yeah, it wasn't even with us. Like, what were you doing there? I know. I, it was just that little uninterrupted uh, Holt Renfrew collab video, and I got to go and I put some of my own outfits together. Oh, nice. um, I don't know. I think my style has definitely evolved in the last year because, like, looking back, some of those outfits I'm not the biggest fan of, but um, I think I, I think I did a good job for my first fashion video. For sure, I <laughs> love that video. Like, I watched it so many times. Did you actually know? Yeah, yeah I know. Right? So what was your favorite? What was your favorite part in the video? You know, when she, the video ended, <laughs> <laughs> and then he restarted. Yeah, and I restarted it. Yeah, it's perfect. But uh, interrupt is doing good things. Man. Yeah, they are for sure. A lot, a lot of they, they put a lot of Canadian artists or mm -hmm. athletes on, right? And they did a lot of uh, uh, people also in, at Whole Renfrew. It was I think they did Serge Ibaka, Scotty Barnes, Scotty Barnes as well. Yeah, yeah. Gary yeah. Trent Jr. Gary oh, Chan. yeah, true. That's Gary Chan. All three of you guys come on the show. We're going to be waiting for you guys. <laughs> Don't do it again. Yeah, What's your favorite brand if you had to pick one? Favorite brand if I had to pick? Yeah. Honestly, I, I'm kind of diehard for Chanel right now. Chanel. Yeah, I have like a Chanel purse that I got like a couple years ago. 
just because they like always like increase the price and you can sell it later on i'm mm. probably not going to knowing me but um i've just liked like everything they've kind of been doing and stuff they've done in the past mm. shoes everything yeah, um, chanel's great was well, there any other brands that you like other than chanel mm, honestly i'm kind of like all over the place yeah. i'm i like love purses so i have from like every brand i love bottega i love yeah are you more into like designer brands or streetwear like mm. In your day to day outfits? I'd say definitely mix it up, but I feel like I lean towards more like designer brands. I just, I love the little like accent pieces of designer brands. For sure. Designer's great. But I like to like mix designer and streetwear. For sure. You know always. What I'm like Northern, Northern Touch Ditches, like it's a perfect example of exactly. the way you can just like dress something up or dress it down you know mm -hmm. how do you feel about the store is this your first time in the store yeah i've never been here but what do you think I, of it? I, I like it the vibes yeah. are cool Very i like nice. how clean it is i it feel is clean, like right? a Allie lot of vintage places aren't this clean <laughs> shout out to ali shout ali to come ali. on the show <laughs> <laughs> so we noticed that you've been working on your own swimwear brand it's called aquasphere can you tell us more about it um yeah i mean i i was lucky enough to kind of partner with aquasphere i've never partnered with a swimwear brand yeah. like my whole career until the last couple of years so um it seems yeah I strange, know right? right it's weird but I'm just so picky with like who I partner with mm. so nothing really felt right until they came along and they really wanted to like do something bigger with me so sure. I've been getting to like design training suits and oh you design like them that. yourself yeah and like oh, I work with a team they fly me out to France and everything so it's really it's a cool process Subtle and it's, flex. yeah I know right would you it's, take it <laughs> would you take it further and design your own clothing other than just swimwear um it's definitely something I've been like thinking about for a while I'm just wondering how I'm gonna kind of go about it <laughs> maybe maybe Vivant <laughs> Vivant is Vivant. gonna help you <laughs> I thought you would have had a swimwear line already. I know, I know, but I don't know. But it's something that I, takes I, time. No, I think it makes <laughs> way more sense to take your time with it, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah not, I think it's pretty sick like also, that. like, designing your own stuff. Yeah. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, the yeah. process yeah, is Yeah, can you talk about cool. the process? Yeah, the the process, is, it's, it's just, like, cool to be a part of, like, getting to pick, like, fabrics and designs and textures and everything like that and just all the different colors. And it's just... A really long process and I it's a little overwhelming because like I want to make it perfect and right for sure and there's just so many options for everything um, so we finally got that sorted out for that and then I have something else coming out with them in like 2024 which is gonna be exciting are you but, excited for it yeah yeah what, what are, can you get a sneak peek no, I, I honestly can't I honestly can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fair enough fair enough grab the laptop please please and thank you sorry <laughs> introduce a new segment on our show that we're calling drip or drown mm -hmm. we're going to go through pictures that we found of you on the internet yeah. and decide whether the fit is drip or, or drown, drown. <laughs> yeah drip meaning we like it drown meaning we don't like it for and you're also going to tell us if you think it's drip or drown yeah, yeah, yeah. you looking back on it now too yeah. let us know if you... so first one you got this one what this do you one? think um let's talk about what you're wearing we see the supreme it seems it's a supreme, supreme top. Yeah. yeah, it's like this. You got some knit. vintage. I got some like random jeans from. I I have like probably fifteen to twenty pairs of just blue jeans. Yeah, like that you like rotate through. Yeah, it's always good to have some blue jeans in the vault. I love some blue jeans. And then the van, and you're with your dog. I know. Might that be was the literally like dog when I world. adopted my dog. Really? So, yeah. So once again, come on the show. I'll dog. give it drip for the sweater. Yeah. But not the. It's hair a whole fit shoes, thing. Anything. It's a whole fit thing. No, you can okay, say that. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give myself a little drip for that because I actually did kind of like that outfit. I think it's a drip too. Personally, I think this fit is a oh, complete drip. And you got <laughs> and you got your puppy in the mix, so it has to be drip. I personally think it's a drip too, just because the top completes the fit. Exactly. <laughs> Go. It's, yeah. Okay, fit number two. Okay, um, this was like last weekend. Okay, perfect. So tell us about the fit. First of all, where were you? In your, in your um, I was in way. Montreal for Raptors preseason, and yeah. then I went out after, and this is what I ended up wearing. Yeah, what, what do you have on there? Um, very random outfit again. I have on my Jordan ones. I think they're like bliss or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then these just like slacks from like Jerf Avenue. Mm. Um, my little Prada bag that I'm always wearing. Prada bag. 
uh, Aritzia like button up and just like this bra that I got from Amazon. Nice. Amazon. I, I definitely would have like switched it up a little bit, but. What do you say? Yeah. Drip or drop? I couldn't bring that much to Montreal, so I'll give a drip. I think that's a drip too. I was going drip. Uh -oh. I'm not sure about that one. I You're know, going right? drop? Might be a drop. Okay, but keep in <laughs> mind, this was just me going to like an after party and I went straight from the game, home, changed, after party. How was the party? It was good. It was, Why didn't you with Tennessee, it was great. You should have come to Montreal. <laughs> I'm still sticking to the okay, ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, picture number three. Um, I think this is super drip. Uh, just because the metals? Yeah, 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 yeah. First thing first, she's got her bust downs on. This is big drip for me. I yeah. Mean, there's not much you got like 20 here. metals okay, on. Fine, I'll give it to her. Honestly, yeah, this is my first like high fashion kind of shoot. Like mm -hmm. I've never done a shoot before where they put me in like Who was a with? Gucci cape. Um, it was with Bay Street Bowl. I was on the cover of it. A little while ago um i think i shot this last summer like right after the olympics and it was it was just a really cool shoot except there was like one gucci dress that was like it was supposed to go with the cape that we didn't get to put but it would have been sick hmm drip or drop <laughs> i give it a drip yeah drip. it has to be drip right to be gucci drip. yeah bay street bull <laughs> big drip Okay, so now we got the uh, uninterrupted. <laughs> that's it you don't even want to say anything <laughs> I... just drown right off the back why that's the shoe you had with uninterrupted, no, right? No, yeah. I, and Did you sell like this one? Like I said, I really loved the shoe. I really loved the pieces they gave me. Yeah. I just hate how I stopped. Oh, okay. That. Fair enough. And fair like, enough. there was like a few of us working on it. And like, keep in mind in the moment, we were just having a lot of fun. Yeah. And just like, kind of joking around a little bit. And now it's like permanently on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go drown with this one as well. Yeah. I'm going to have to go drown with this one as well. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Another moment. How this, are you feeling about this one? I'm cool with it for like a little ski trip moment, yeah. but like strictly a ski trip moment. Like this isn't going anywhere. Uh, you, what? You want to walk down Bay Street? Down, no. down downtown Toronto with this one? I don't one? think I would. I think this one's drip. This one's also just for fun. Yeah, this one's drip. I think you can wear that Celine like ski mask. Honestly, anywhere, anywhere you go. Anywhere. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think this one's big drip. It's drip? Yeah. And that's it. And that's Thank it. God. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think athletes uh, influence fashion in a, in a big way? Yeah, I think now more than like, honestly, not even now more than ever. I feel like if you look back like at like guys like Allen Iverson and everything, oh, like for sure. athletes have been influencing fashion for so long. And I feel like they're probably one of the biggest influences in fashion. I mean, sure. you see like all of these like walkout picks and everything and the, the WNBA picks. and yeah even the NBA and everything and it's just it's just cool to kind of see that and draw inspiration from it and I mean I, I think it's like a huge thing what yeah, for doing. sure for sure what do you think is uh, the drippiest athlete mm. yeah, let's let's say in the NBA NBA no uh, not not just the NBA let's go it's gonna in be general yeah, in general in general if you know like, honestly that's your, it's a opinionated question you know <laughs> I'm just kind of in love with Devin Booker, like in general. Ah, so Devin Booker, is Devin Booker. I have to kind of give come it to, to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Devin Booker, call on the show. Devin Booker, yeah. Devin Booker is pretty good. Have you seen his stuff? Like even stuff like his house and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. Good, like, nice. like his life is good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Who do you think is the drippiest? Penny. Thing. Why do you penny. think I got Penny on the show? <laughs> I don't know. I think no I had like wasn't... more drops than drips on that one. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no you had two. Me. I got one. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I. Maybe like Odell. Uh, I knew you would say that. No, you know who? Shay. Yeah, Shay. Yeah, I think. Shay, Shay, come on the show. Shay, Shay for sure. Uh, Odell, don't coming. come on the show. Huh? Odell, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Odell, come to the show as well. <laughs> uh, who's your? Who do you think? I was gonna say Shay as well because I think honestly he's he probably has the most drip right now. Um, I would say even like all athletes, not even only NBA. Like I think he has really good style. He knows how to put everything together. He's bringing a lot of old stuff back right now too, so I think it's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. If you weren't swimming, what would you be doing? Mm, I don't know. I, I mean, I like what other what are your other hobbies? And yeah, stuff? I don't know. I think like you stick to ballet. No, definitely <laughs> not. I'm definitely too tall for that now. But um, I'm like really into interior design. I'm like constantly switching my apartment up. Mm. I'm always moving so that I have a new space to like redo. So. Um, Probably that. I'd probably be in school right now and hopefully getting into that. Interior design. 
So now this is the fun part. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get you in different fits, okay. and we'll see who styled it the best. Yeah, and let the fans decide who styled it the best. Baby, come with me, let's get your vibe. I got a bottle of Henny in a car waiting just outside. I didn't get lost in those eyes. I fell in love with the way that you bath for me. We'll dance for free, but she'll dance for me. I'm trying to take you for you at the South Beach. I can show you a life that you ain't ever seen. But you bath for me. Oh, hey, Benny. Thank you so much for coming on Thank the show again. Thank you so again. much yeah. for having me. Yeah, yeah like, it was really a pleasure. Like, really, oh, really appreciate it. I had a really good time, honestly. Yeah. You, have you seen Mina? No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, it's good, it's good. It's good.